Hello, I'd like to welcome everyone to another week of prayer. For the last three weeks, we've concentrated on some of the formal prayers. We're going to do another formal one later on today. I'd like you to, if you can, I'd like you to invite you to stay and listen to the words. In the prayers that we've done so far, there's a lot of meaningful words. Um, and again, it depends on where you're at within your life. I know for myself, one of the first prayers that started really affecting me in a positive way, uh, when my mind started opening up a little bit in my life, was this prayer. I offer myself to thee, O Lord, to do and to build as I will. Relieve me of the bondage of self, so that I can do thy will. Remove my difficulties, so that victory over them may be a witness to others of thy grace, thy love, and thy way of life. May I do your will always. That's a prayer I use on my ordination card, and it does mean a lot to me. I say it daily. Another way to pray, of course, and when we consider the words, is through song. Last week I did the Hail Mary. This week I'm going to do one that means a lot to me as well. It's called the Summons. Will you come and follow me if I but call your name? Will you go where you don't know and never be the same? Will you let my love be shown? Will you let my name be known? Will you let my life be grown in you and you in me? Will you leave yourself behind if I but call your name? Will you care for cruel and kind and never be the same? Will you risk the hostile stare? Should your life attract or scare? Will you let me answer prayer in you and you in me? Will you let the blinded man see if I but call your name? Will you set the prisoners free and never be the same? Will you kiss the leper clean and do such as this unseen and admit to what I mean in you and you in me? Will you love the you you hide if I but call your name? Will you quell that fear inside and never be the same? Will you use the faith you found to reshape the world around through my sight and touch and sound in you and you in me? Lord, your summons echoes true when you but call my name. Let me turn and follow you and never be the same. In your company I'll go, where your love and footsteps show. Thus I'll move and live and grow in you, and you in me. This week, we're going to be talking about Divine Mercy Chaplet. Give you a little history on it. The Divine Mercy Chaplet was brought to us by Sister Faustina. She lived in Poland and she basically uh, met our Lord between the years of 1931 to 1935. 
St. Faustina's prayers for sinners, um, you know, she, she, what, what happened was she ended up seeing the Lord on a regular basis. And eventually she wrote a diary. And in that diary, she wrote down every single thing that she conversed with the Lord. Uh, the things that she did see and do, she kept a memory as well. And she was able to show our Lord it, and describe him and someone painted him as she described him. This is the painting that basically was revealed to her. And, it's, and at the bottom it says, Jesus, I trust in you. And as you can see, there's two lights coming from his side, from the heart. There's the, the red side and the white side. These have meaning, and we'll discuss that later. But right now, the chaplet is recited in a different way. It doesn't have Hail Mary's in it, and it doesn't have our Father's, but we do use the rosary. And we have the picture on hand if we can. We have, there's a lot of little cards that are available. The point of this chaplet is, is that we're including Christ in our lives as well. We're concentrating and focusing on the salvation of our Lord. We begin with the name, a sign of the cross in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. You expired, Jesus, but the source of life gushed forth for souls, and the ocean of mercy opened up for the whole world. O font of life, unfathomable divine mercy, envelop the whole world and empty yourself out upon us. O blood and water, which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus as a font of mercy for us, I trust in you. O blood and water, which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus as a font of mercy for us, I trust in you. O blood and water, which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus as a font of mercy for us, I trust in you. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. And I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. 
for the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. And for the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, the soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. 
for the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Mighty Immortal One, have mercy on us and the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal God, in whom mercy is endless and treasury of compassion inexhaustible, look kindly upon us and increase your mercy in us, that in difficult moments we might not despair nor become despondent, but with great confidence submit ourselves to your holy will, which is love and mercy itself. O oh, greatly merciful God, infinite goodness, today all mankind calls out from the abyss of its misery to your mercy, to your compassion, O oh God. And it is with its mighty voice of misery that it cries out. Gracious God, do not reject the prayer of the earth's exiles. O oh Lord, goodness beyond our understanding, who are acquainted with our misery through and through, and know that by our own power we cannot ascend to you. We implore you, anticipate us with your grace and keep on increasing your mercy in us, that we may faithfully do your holy will all through our life and at this hour. Let the omnipotence of your mercy shield us from the darts of our salvations and enemies that we may with confidence as your children await your son's final coming, that day known to you alone. And we expect to obtain everything promised by us by Jesus in spite of all our wretchedness. For Jesus is our hope, through his mercy, merciful heart, as though an open gate we pass through to heaven. Amen. I'd like to also include, well, I can't, I didn't bring it with me. Anyways, this, uh, we're going to head into Pentecost, and uh, I also want to include the uh, prayer. Uh, glory be, glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. For anyone that's interested in this particular chaplet, it's online. You can get it online. Uh, and it's called Divine Mercy. Uh, there's many people that already do it at St. John the Divine. And uh, they do it on a regular basis on Wednesdays. 
it's a great way to focus on our Lord in times of needs and it's also in times of when we're doubting. So just thought I'd introduce that to you. And remember, it's still the month of Mary. You can do the, the, the rosary on a daily basis as well, uh, including all the other prayers that we've done. Everybody's invited to do it. Um, if you haven't been to church for a while, you can look online for the prayers as well. So um, please, even these cards are available in some places. So uh, with that, I'd like to end it with uh, an Immaculate Mary. Immaculate Mary, who praises we, you rain down from heaven on Jesus our King. Oh, Ave, Ave, Ave Maria, Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. See you next week.